Hello, I'm Jared Taylor. These videos aren't being promoted in the usual way, so if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it very much if you send the link to some of your friends. There's an important trial going on right now that you probably haven't heard about. It's a cliche even to say this, but it's one of those cases in which if the races were reversed, it would be on the front page every day along with the coronavirus. The case goes back to April 13, 2017, when a black man named Corey Muhammad decided to visit a woman who was staying at a Motel 6 in Fresno, California. At that motel, if you visit someone in a room, you're supposed to register and pay a small fee. Instead, Mr. Muhammad shot and killed a hotel security guard, Carl Williams. Mr. Muhammad went on the lam for a few days, but learned from TV reports that the police were after him. He figured he would be caught, but, as he explained later, decided he wasn't going to go down for killing just one white man. So five days after the first killing, he went back to the same area where he found a parked utility truck. The driver was Hispanic, but there was a white man in the passenger seat, so he walked around to that site and killed Zachary Randalls. Mr. Muhammad started strolling through the residential neighborhood and took a shot at another white man, but missed. He shot at a car, but he let it drive off when he saw that the passengers were Hispanic. He then saw Mike Gassett coming out of the Catholic Charities building. His first shot took down Gassett. Mr. Muhammad then walked up and finished him off right here with two more shots. He saw three men waiting at a bus stop and shot at them. When they scattered, he went after David Jackson because he was older and heavier than the other two. Mr. Muhammad caught him and killed him. All this took less than four minutes, and by then the Fresno police had used a shot spotter listening device to find the location and had sent a patrol car. Mr. Muhammad walked up to the car and surrendered. Several hours later, detectives took him back to the area where he showed them what he had done. He showed no remorse and laughed out loud as he talked about killing white men. So who is Corey Muhammad? He's a Fresno boy, now 42. He took classes at Fresno City College, where he often accused his teachers of racism. He's been arrested for weapons, drugs, forgery, making terroristic threats. He became interested in Islam and changed his name from Corey Taylor to Corey Muhammad in prison. He used Twitter and Facebook, where he praised Micah Johnson, the man who killed five white police officers during a Black Lives Matter rally in Dallas in 2016. He called white people devils and encouraged black warriors to mount up. In interviews after the killings, he explained that, and I quote, white supremacy has to die, and people that benefit most from white supremacy are white men. Adding, it starts taking its toll on you, and you get fed up with all the racism. He also said, someone has to fight for all the people that died at the hands of racist white men. I wonder where he got ideas like that. In 2018, Corey Muhammad went on trial to determine whether he was mentally competent. You see, two court-appointed shrinks had decided he was loopy and not responsible for what he did. But a shrink for the defense, Dr. Reed Malloy, spent three and a half hours with him and also listened in on 26 of his phone calls from jail. He decided Mr. Muhammad is a con man who knows shrink talk and what to say to make the other docs think he's crazy. When he's on the phone with his pals, he sounds fine. Dr. Malloy thinks Mr. Muhammad does have schizophrenia, but that he can manage it, and he knows right from wrong just fine. A judge agreed with him. Some of the things that he thinks, that the white man was created by the mad scientist Yakub, and that he himself is millions of years old, that there's a mothership out there, that's not skizzy talk. It's what Elijah Muhammad, the founder of the black Muslims, says they're supposed to believe. And so he's on trial again right now for the murders. On Tuesday, after taking the oath while giving the black power salute, he took the stand and admitted that he killed all four white men and had wanted to kill even more. The prosecutor asked him why he shot Mark Gassett two more times after he was already down. The reply? To kill him just like the coronavirus is killing white men right now. He added, God is going to destroy white men in particular specifically. 
The trial is supposed to end in a few days, and there's no doubt that Cory Muhammad will be found guilty. But then there will apparently be yet another trial to decide if he really is sane. Well, all I can say is that five years ago, an unbalanced, drug-addled white man killed blacks for racial reasons. The country went into convulsions, and the President of the United States spoke at a memorial service for the victims. The white man's name? Dylan Roof. You've heard of him. Everyone has heard of him. But probably no one you know has ever heard of Corey Muhammad, and probably never will. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you might take a look at our podcast channel. That's at Amran Podcast at YouTube. Also, please visit our website. It's amran.com. That's A-M-R-E-N dot com.